you know, for a cherry tree, which this one is, doesn't usually have much on it. This one's an exception. I featured this tree in the Linesia clerkella video the other day, and that species may well figure again shortly. But I was up here last night with Nick and Samantha Brownlee while we were talking and stood here, found two caterpillars on this tree. I'm going to show you those caterpillars and there's another one just around the corner. Now cherries, probably one of the worst trees you could ever look on really because not a great deal feeds on it but this tree wants to have something about it. And here's the caterpillar that I've just found. I'll show you the two in a minute, and it's plain hard to get now, but that is the characteristic head-on view of a vapor moth caterpillar. One of our most beautifully adorned caterpillars that we have here in the UK. This one's just been feeding, it's just stopped for a minute. So if we uncover it, And there we are. It really is an absolute beautiful caterpillar. It's ridiculously common, but it's a fantastic caterpillar because the female vapor moth, as many will know, is wingless. So where she pupates is where she lays her eggs and her eggs will be laid in copious numbers on the cocoon. That cocoon can be anywhere. It can be on a plant, on a tree trunk, on a wall, under a gutter in, even indoors, in the recess somewhere. They will pupate anywhere. The problem comes is when those eggs hatch the following spring and vapor moth caterpillar has quite some walk in the majority of instances in order to find food now luckily they're not particularly fussy that's probably why this one's eating cherry but for a tiny caterpillar just a couple of millimeters long it may have to walk days before it finds a suitable food source this one almost certainly didn't begin its life on this tree. But what a fabulous caterpillar. There's not really anything else like it in the UK, to be honest. There can be slight variations in the colouring, but what a beautiful thing. Fantastically coloured and fantastically adorned with various hairs fringing along the sides of the body there's that tuft of long hairs at the back end of the caterpillar, which is, on, which is on the left. And then on its back, just at the back of the head, are four almost like shaving brush tufts of hair. And then at the front again, some more elongated hairs. Quite a fantastic caterpillar. And a very common moth. The males are day flying, so they appear like small fulvous brown butterflies you'll see flying around your garden often at sort of 10 15 feet off the ground and they're in search of females and it's quite a protracted emergence of the adult moths so that's our first caterpillar the beautiful vapor moth now then the other two now here's the first of the two caterpillars found on this cherry tree last night. I took them home just to make sure of the ID. And this is the caterpillar of the clouded silver. It's a quite beautiful geometry moth, basically pure white with varying amounts of, of greyish suffusion to the wings. 
has two broods and this one will be flying almost certainly in another brood in a few weeks time this is only the second time i found this caterpillar and it's beautiful it's a lovely sort of lime green color matches this pretty perfectly but along the back are varying dashes of a pinkish red but it's the the head capsule which is brilliantly patterned i'll put a close-up photo in because it's quite remarkable the head but the body of the caterpillar is that lime green color and i'm saying there's a splash of a reddish streak at the back of the head there and then at the rear end of the caterpillar it's a quite beautiful thing the only other time i found this was at stoke bardolf a few years ago and i was delighted to find that it's always nice to find caterpillars especially caterpillars of those moths that have been familiar to you after years of trapping so this is a nice find the moth is reasonably common in the sherwood forest area so it's no real surprise but nice to find it on cherry i can't believe how productive this tree has been so that's clouded silver well here's the second caterpillar that i found last night with nick and samantha brownley and this when i found it initially i thought it was common marbled carpet but they're just starting to reappear on the wing again and I did have another check, and I actually believe now that it's red-green carpet, which is a caterpillar I seem to recollect seeing once before and tried to rear it through, but it ultimately never made it to pupation and then emerges an adult. But it's another geometry caterpillar or looper caterpillar, but this is now in the typical resting posture of many so-called stick or looper caterpillars. But it's beautifully coloured, that almost yellowish green. I don't know how well that will show on here. And it's paler on the back. And then along the dorsal surface of the caterpillar, at the rear of the head, you've got that reddish streak. And then on each segment, you've got smaller, much shorter reddish streaks. It's very attractive. Difficult to keep in focus, I'm sorry, with the breeze that we've got today but this one will be going back i'll drop a photo in of the moth because it really is a very attractive moth a red green carpet and hopefully my identification will be proved right and we shall see in the next month or so so that's red green carpet so three caterpillars on here of macro moths the larger moths all just on one tree.